Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man Primetime, and you already know you're on Primetime Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video. And you already know the routine once you enter my house wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. For Primetime. Oh man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? How about the Deontay Wilder versus the Hellenius fight? Man, oh man, it was crazy, right? You know, well, it wasn't much of a fight. I guess you just say it was Wilder's KO. Boy, oh boy, man, oh man, the first round, y'all, you know? And basically, all it was, to be honest with you, Hellenius walked into the power. He walked into the right hand. He had a cornered altar beast, and he ran too close, and he got burned. It's almost like getting too close to the sun, you know? That theory that they have about that. You get too close to the sun, you get burned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I will say this much to Hellenius, you know, um, don't hold your head down, man. You know, you were overzealous, yes. But does that make you a horrible fighter or anything like that or done and washed up? Heck no, not at all. Everybody has their day. Everybody makes a mistake. Just go ahead and, you know, take that. But, you know, you look at it. You know, Elenius just was hyped. He was rushed. The crowd cheering. You know, the biggest fight of his life. He in the ring with somebody bigger than life. Uh, someone that he even sparred with and probably never imagined fighting. Or he probably did imagine fighting. He may have had in his head, look, if I bone rush Wilder, I might can knock him out. If I get my opportunity, I'm going to knock him out. And that's what he did. He ran up on Wilder, pushed Wilder back into the corner with some little jabs and a few, you know, air punches. And then, bam, ran right into that right hand. <laughs> Wilder need to call that the right hand of God <laughs> For real Because that right there is definitely the ultimate equalizer And so moving right along My people Now we talk about your boy Usyk Because Orlando Usyk took before this fight To say Oh, you know, I want to fight Wilder next. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to tell you like this, y'all. It's two sides to the coin here on Primetime Talk TV. So, with two sides to the coin, first side is, is that Orlando Usa called him out and he going to be a man of his word. He going to get in that ring and he going to do his thing. He may feel it as though... He can patiently beat Wild, outbox Wild, outskill Wild, and it's possibly so. Anything is possible, y'all. Anything is possible. You seen what Usyk did to Anthony Joshua twice? Twice. Orlando Usyk beat that boy twice. Twice as nice. Ooh, like ice. He was cold blooded. Yeah. So, on the other side of this corn now, moving right along, is, is that he could get in that ring with Wilder and they move around about, you know, filling each other out the first round. And then in that second round, bang! KO. Like on a video game, K.O. <laughs> a straight street fighter 
For real, Wilder is like the ultimate character on Street Fighter. He's like that boss dude. You might well call Wilder Akuma. You know what I mean? He's that character on the video game, the boss guy you fight in the end. You know, and after like four or five times, you actually beat him because you actually rehearsed it enough. But who wants to take that kind of shot four or five times? Mm, 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 mm. So on my side, I would say now, Orlando Usyk, the ball is in your court. To be a man of your word, to be a man of Ukraine, to be a man of honor and keep what you said. Since Tyson Fury didn't want to fight you, I will guarantee Deontay Wilder will oblige you. <laughs> that boy from Tusk. That boy, he is for real. He is for real, real. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I know. Look, y'all. People on Twitter, on social media, this, that place is saying, oh, Hellenius took a dive. Y'all guys must be out your freaking mind. Ain't no man that big, that tall, been fighting 25 years gonna get in the ring and say knock my head off and I'm gonna fall <laughs> I mean what sense did that make because uh Wilder ain't the type of dude that want anybody to take a dive he trying to knock your lights out and ain't nobody and I do mean nobody on earth that stupid for real Seriously, <laughs> nobody. Why you think Tyson Fury cut every corner he could when he fought Wilder? Turning lights out in the room. Turn off the lights. And let's mess my gloves up. I'm gonna cheat every fight. And I'm gonna win every night. Turn off the lights. Oh. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm back. So anyway, like I said, Orlando Usyk, what are you going to do, man? The ball is in your court. You kind of quiet, man. We ain't heard nothing from you, man. I thought you said you were going to show up to the fight, man. You ain't even called Wilder back, man. You ain't said nothing, man. I'm going to tell y'all like this. It is what it is. We see what it is. Now, media, big media, whoever you want to call them, the other, whatever, old media, whatever, they will say whatever they want. They will make whatever pound for pound fake list they want. They will discredit every black fighter all they want. But history knows the truth the people that are real fans know the truth the people that live this boxing sport every single day know the truth so you can cover it however you want you can say it however you can spin it however you want you hear me let me preach to you just for a minute choir church people the world uh-huh so we got big media that's always tearing our boxes down and just playing with their hearts, making it seem like they ain't good, taking them off the pound for pound list. Look at how they did Devin Haney. Look at how they did Shakur Stevenson. Look at how they did Deontay Wilder, uh-huh. Look at how they do all the good fighters, uh-huh. But you don't hear me. You don't feel me. You don't see the truth. It's that it's just too many of us that's too 
good. Do you hear me, people? It's just too many of us that is too good. You hear me? You got the Charlo twins. They got bills. You got Earl Spence. He got three bills. You got Terrence Crawford. He got a bill. You got Devin Haney. He got all the bills. You got Tank Davis. I don't know what kind of belt that is, but he got a belt. I, it's so many black fighters that got belts. You gotta count Clarissa Shields. Uh -huh. You gotta count Alicia Baumgartner. Uh -huh. You gotta count Cruz Desern. Look at how they did Stephen Fulton. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You gotta count all of the black fighters that got belts. And it's just too many of them. They said, then we ain't gonna show too many of them. They said, but we gonna have to start making our own pound for pound list. I said, we gonna have to start making our own pound for pound list. You hear me, people? Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. All right, so getting on back to it. That's how it is. That's how it is, folks. <laughs> gotta wake up, my people. So with that being said, that's all I got for you this video. You already know the routine when you leave my house. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV. And I'm on social media everywhere. And definitely go to the website, primetimetalktv.com and copy some merch.